Hello there, folks, and welcome back to Warcraft Radio's coverage of the Shadowland Alpha. My name is Kexman, and today we're taking a look at a little bit of an interesting quest in Revendreth. It takes place in this small village. It seems as though one of the tithes to Sire Denathrius of Anima is going missing, and we have to uncover exactly where it has gone. First off, we speak to the rather unfortunately named Globnob, which, you know, I'm assuming at some point his parents hated him, otherwise he wouldn't have ended up with a name like Globnob. And we have to toss through the rubbish to find a small clue as to exactly what is going on, and we find a suspicious message. Moving on, we are now moving over to the soul of Keltesh, who seems to be currently undergoing some form of ritual here in Revendreth to allow him to move on to the next level. Seems as though he is almost going further beyond, you could say. Uh, you join just as the thing is taking place, and there seems to be some form of memories, whether these are, you know, the memories of sins, the memories of atrocities that this person has committed. Very similar to what we see in Bastion, with the bells drawing out former memories. Once you're able to destroy these manifestations of fear, it seems as though, as we see him saying, he feels somehow lighter, he doesn't fear. And again, mentioning that his sins are exerting a terrible weight upon you. Whilst this does seem to be a slightly different version of the process we see in Bastion, it almost seems to have much better effects on the actual remaining soul rather than it does on in Bastion. It seems that the people in Bastion aren't massive fans of it. They feel a lot of pain. They don't feel as happy afterwards. Whereas here in Revendreth, you can almost see them feeling a lot more relaxed. And whether or not this is something that is going to be drawn upon here in Shadowlands, we don't know. It's unsure if we're even going to get a mention of that. Once we have dealt with the soul of Keltesh, we move over, we move over to Courier Rockalai, who seems to have a clue for us as well. One thing I will say about this quest is it's not massively clear as to who has what clue and what's going on. Whilst it does have a nice little finale and whilst it does introduce a little bit of world building here in Revendreth, which kind of has been lacking slightly, I will say, uh, in the lead up to this quest. It's It could be slightly clearer as to who has what clue and exactly what is going on. The quest text does mention some things, but it's not massively clear as to why we are doing this or why this is even needed. Once we have managed to gather our clues, we then speak to the two main suspects one of the suspects here is called Ilka, and is resting on this table just to the west, uh, just to the east, sorry, of the uh, village. And then we go and speak to Samu, who appears to be one of the note takers currently in the town hall. I suppose you could call it. These guys are then invited to a secret location to discuss the apparently missing anima from Sidonathrius's tide. Uh, here he is here, Samu, the Darkhaven scribe. You pre present the invitation, and it's now time to directly confront Samu and Ilka and find out exactly who has been taking what and potentially even why they have been taking it. It's, again, kind of unclear as to why it's particularly these two. This almost seems to be a world-building quest for the sake of world-building. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of actually having an effect on the world around you, but once again, it's always nice to get an image of exactly what is going on. We now head down to the mausoleum, which is exactly where this Mexican standoff is taking place. So now, obviously, we have Ilka, Samu, and Lahos, who seems to be the single person who has tasked us with this, and they have all drawn their crossbows. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Hanum. Now, obviously, they go through all their various different reasonings as to why they didn't do something or who did this. Here we have Ilka actually blaming Samu for skimming Anima off the top of the tithe. Lahos is obviously, he's confronting both of them. 
And now here we have the final of the Mexican standoff. All of them have shot each other. And here comes Rahel, who seems to be the actual person who has been skimming the tithe. And they're blaming each other. Again, it's not very clear as to why this is happening. I don't know whether this is something that is uncovered in a later quest line. It does seem as though... Once again, the ending of this quest is obviously the Mexican standoff and everyone killing each other, but there doesn't seem to be much beyond that. Rahel does thank us, and then disappears in a rather fancy animation. And thus draws to the end the Mexican standoff quest. My name has been Kexman, please make sure to subscribe for more Shadowlands Alpha content coming in the near future.